hey and thanks for watching. Today I'm going to show you how to use drop down menus to hide and unhide tabs. Now I do real estate financial modeling and so my example here is I have a user uh, who may want to model real estate development or may want to model a real estate acquisition. And so I want the ability for them to choose that and have the relevant tabs hide, be hidden. Uh, or unhidden based on that selection. And then me as a creator of this model, I want the ability to quickly hide and unhide hide my cal calculation tabs without coming down and doing the right click and hiding one by one to hide and unhide those calculation tabs. So let's get started. This takes some basic VBA. You don't need to know how to code. I've included the code on the, on the post attached to this video as well as in the video itself. And it's just a matter of copy paste and fill in a few inputs. But before we get to the VBA, what I like to do is I like to, to, to name the cells where we have these drop down menus. Now, why do I like to do that? Well, each cell already has a name. So in this case, my, my investment type drop down menu, which has either development or acquisition, is named D3. The problem is if I add a row here, it's no longer named D3, it's D4. And so in my code, if I were to name it, have named it D3, and then I, w I were to come in and manipulate the sheet, and now it becomes D4, the code's broken and it no longer works. Whereas, take this back to where it was, if I name this, give this a custom name, in this case I'm going to name it investment type, it is always investment type. Regardless of where it's located in the sheet, always investment type. And so in my hide calc, I'm just going to call this hide calc, and those are my two name cells. Next, we need to drop in the VBA code. What you do is you're going to come to the tab in which your drop-down menu is located, and you're going to right-click. You're going to click View Code. And this is the VBA code related to the tab that we're in. Now, I'm not going to get into details about this a Visual Basic window, but this will pop up. Don't be intimidated by it. What you're simply going to do is you're going to copy the code. You're going to paste it right here. And how the code reads is pretty simple. It says, if a cell, okay, this is the cell name, equals and then some value that you're going to specify, then, and then this tells you this sheet, and this is the name of the sheet, sheet, this is the name, is visible, either true or false. False, obviously, it's hidden. True, it's not hidden. Else, sheet, sheet name, the same as this here, in this case, it's true. So uh, if you know, this cell has this value, then let's hide the sheet. If not, let's make the sheet um, unhidden or visible. So let's get to this. The first is, what's our cell name? Well, I named this investment type cell investment type. So I'm just going to come in here where it's capital letters. I'm going to type investment underscore type. Okay, that's the cell name. If I hadn't named this, it would be D3, right? But I did name it investment type. And then what value would this cell need to have in order for the tab that I'm interested in to be visible or not visible? Or in this case, we want to hide the development tab when this drop-down menu is acquisition. So I'm just going to type in acquisition. So if this cell equals acquisition, then the development tab, and I know it's development tab because I look down and that's the name, development tab is hidden. If else, the development tab is not hidden. Okay, so then let's click File, Save. Now if you haven't if you haven't saved your workbook as a macro enabled workbook, when you click save, it's going to pop up and ask you if you want to save it as a non macro enabled workbook. If you do that, this won't work. And so you'll need to save it as a macro enabled workbook because what you're essentially doing is you're building a macro by hand based on uh, what happens with your drop down menu. So I saved it. I'm going to close it and just show you how this works. When this is set to acquisition, watch what happens to the development tab below. It disappears. Here's the challenge. If I go back to development, development opens, but acquisition is still there. So what I need to do now is hide the acquisition tab when the development tab is open. So again, I'm going to come back here, right click, view code. 
And in order to do that, I'm going to do it within the same if statement. I'm just going to add another sheet. So right below the development tab sheet, I'm going to have, I'm sorry. No, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take this if here, okay? And so it's still within the sub between the, that sub. I'm just going to drop another if statement in here. And this is if investment type equals development, then the acquisition tab is hidden. If not, the acquisition tab is unhidden or visible. And then again, I'm going to save this. Let's come and look and watch. Go to acquisition. OK, acquisition tab and the development tab is hidden. And what happens when you go to development? Development tab is visible, acquisition tab is hidden. Finally, let's do the calc again. Just repetition, we're gonna come here, view code. We're gonna copy another if statement. It needs to be within these sub, from private sub to end sub, it needs to be inside here. So let's just put that there. And then this cell we called hide calc. And so the name of the cell, hide underscore calc is what I named it. And if this equals yes, so th this drop down menu is yes or no. If it equals yes, do we want to hide the, the, the calculation tab? That. If not, that. And what this says is if this cell equals yes, the calculation tab is hidden or it's not visible. If this sheet does not equal yes, then it will be visible. Again, save. And then when we come here, drop down menu to no, and then back to yes, and it's hidden. So if we go to no, visible, yes, hidden. Development to acquisition, acquisition back to development. So there you go. I've included the code on the post related to this video, and if you have questions, uh, feel free to reach out. Thank you for your time.